Good morning YouTube, it's 12th of June 2014 and I'm going to start here by reading from the Bible, Revelation 13. Then out of the sea I saw a beast rising. It had ten horns and seven heads. On its horns were ten diadems and on each head was a blasphemous name. The beast I saw was like a leopard but its feet were like a bear's and its mouth like a lion's mouth. The dragon conferred upon it its power and rule and great authority. Okay, so you're familiar with this one? We've heard it plenty. One of its heads appeared to have received a death blow. Now, I'm going to suggest that that was Osama bin Laden being killed. A death blow. So Al-Qaeda, part of the beast one of the heads of the beast, right, took a death blow. But the mortal wound was healed. So in other words, Osama bin Laden may not be here anymore, but Al-Qaeda is going strong in people's heads. The whole world went after the beast in wandering admiration. Well, there's a lot of followers of Al-Qaeda. Men worshipped the dragon because he had conferred his authority upon the beast. Not sure what that means. They worshipped the beast also and chanted, Who is like the beast? Who can fight against it? And that is what people are saying now about Al-Qaeda. It's got into people's heads. Who can fight against it? and their success in Iraq now with ISIS you know I did hear someone say Al-Qaeda condemns ISIS for being too <laughs> violent so it, it goes on so we'll see if this plays out the beast was allowed to mouth bombast and blasphemy and was given the right to reign for 42 months. So I know a lot of people link that with uh, Obama. But um, we'll see. Maybe Al-Qaeda will now reign for 42 months. It opened its mouth in blasphemy against God. Reviling his name and his heavenly dwelling. You know, now Al-Qaeda haven't done that. Obama's done that. A bit confusing, isn't it? It was also allowed to wage war on God's people and to defeat them and was granted authority over every tribe and people, language and nation, all on earth who worship it, except those whose names the Lamb that was slain keeps in his role of the living, written there since the world was made. Hear, you who have ears to hear, whoever is to be made prisoner, a prisoner he shall be. Whoever takes the sword to kill, by the sword he is bound to be killed. This is where the fortitude and faithfulness of God's people have their place. Well, that's pretty clear to me. Stay happy, lots of love in your heart, and that's that. So, okay, a bit confusing when you read the whole lot, but that's, that's my theory there. Um... Just one more thing I was going to mention. Um, about a year ago, I think, I had a dream. I was having a dream that um, me, my older brother, my dad, we were all trying to make our way down to France. And it was a sort of a end of the world dream, and I've thought about it, you know, like, we're going to be in this position where we have to escape. But what disturbed me about it was um, that my son wasn't there. You know, so I was thinking for ages, sort of trying to ask God, you know, nothing's going to happen to him, is it? You know, why why wasn't he there? And um, and then only a couple of weeks ago, I sort of, or not even that, a week ago, I thought, well, my brother's kids weren't there either. And then kind of got this feeling that there was just no kids so 
my only sort of conclusion to that is that the powers that be will eventually admit to everyone that there's impending doom on the way and that they'll um, take all the kids into the bunkers that's what they'll sort of say is the fairest thing we'll save the kids and all the parents will agree to that I think even I would you know if we at some stage knew that you know was really going to be foobar I think, you know, I would, especially if everyone was letting their kids, I suppose, you know, that's what I'd probably do. So, anyway, it might not be, but that was that. So, yeah, short one. All right, watch the previous videos. Come on, get it on. Bye.